ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, to another live streaming analysis with uh, Grandmaster Suat Atalik of the European Individual Women's Chess Championship 2013. Uh, today he will be commenting games from the 8th round, uh, which he has chosen, so I will just give him the word and uh, he will... Uh, so it's always to... difficult to sort them in a perfect order, but uh, somehow now I feel like starting with the missed opportunity of uh, Miss Pop, a uh, Hungarian player uh, who is very sharp. She plays uh, uh, very theoretical. And uh, she was white against uh, Tatiana Melamet, uh, formerly from Ukraine, now representing uh, Germany, if I am not mistaken. They started with this Taiman of Mu order, although all these names are a little bit uh, confusing. Uh, quickly, went into a Shevedingan after f4 and d6. If Black wouldn't like to play a Shevelingan setup, uh, she should have chosen uh, Bishop b4. After which, there is a huge theory once again. White could react by knight a4, known as the best theoretical move. But Melamed didn't. Uh, well, I mean, she didn't uh, get annoyed about this position. There's little to say about this position. Sometimes by sharing and this comes with white having king on h1. Or going for a4. Obviously, the a4 setups, if the king is on h1 or not, uh, it's not that crucial. But uh, in the most attacking position, it was always thought like, for instance, queen e1. That in only recent times, they started to enjoy the subtleties uh, of this move d5. That's interesting. I mean, uh, at the beginning, uh, it was thought like white will do a lot of things, uh, having one extra tempo. Um, not such a big tempo, because we know that this uh, when you castle short, you may go to h1. When you castle long, you may go to b1. I mean, if you go to a1, it's a little bit exaggerated. Mm -hmm. We remember also games uh, like uh, King Tucked to a1. But here, here it's some very slight, you know, uh, change of the structure. Having the main point that This brings the game into a French, which is not considered like the most dangerous uh, setup for black. Obviously, white is better, but uh, black may react by it. And uh, maybe Grandmaster uh, Pop here decided to avoid this possibility. She played first king h1, after castle she played queen e1. She could do it the other way around. First she could play queen e1, then after castle she could go uh, with the king to h1. Came the exchanges. Everything is very well known. And now white has played queen g3. I mean, this is a very well investigated uh, setup. Yesterday we got uh, Branko Damianovic and uh, he and Barlov, also a very famous uh, grandmaster, uh, one of the best in uh, Serbian chess uh, in the last period, they were playing Rook A E8, preparing for E5 in case needed uh, with Bishop D8. You may find it deep, but on the other hand, black needs activity. And, you don't want to deploy your FA troop because, I mean, 
we are sort of uh, concerned about uh, the safety of F7 pawn. Also, certain things are important for white, where to deploy the bishop at some moment to d3 or to f3. With d3, always black has moves like knight h5. That may go e5. In some certain setups, it happens, or this kind of uh, trick. In some others, it doesn't happen. So we will see. So white is, uh, for the moment, uh, she doesn't need to protect uh, e4, since uh, her uh, bishop is on d4, and uh, she is uh, controlling g7 square uh, with a deadly threat. And uh, Manavet has chosen rook a8, a favorite plan, that uh, black wants to play one rook to seventh, if needed, uh, the other one to e8, uh, wants to deploy the bishop to c6, and wants to go maybe queen d8, queen a8. There are a lot of things. Uh, it's a little bit too many plans. Actual black uh, is ready to defend according to what white will do. So let's see what happened in uh, transition. Everything normal so far. Even this is a theoretical move. I told you that uh, Petron was very well theory. This is the 17th move. And uh, here, more or less, Black was forced to play Queen D. And Black has chosen Bishop C6. This is very interesting. This is the important moment in the game. Now we have to really speak about the tactical alertness. You know, like uh, maybe many people play in this game, they look, I mean, maybe even you, you are uh, checking in front of your computer, say like, nothing is happening. Absolutely nothing is uh, happening on the surface. Black is losing. By simply this move, by the last move. And why could have played knight d5? With a terrible effect. Because after he takes d5, he takes d5, comes also bishop takes f6. And comes also d takes c6, two threats at the same time. Both bishops are open. And white has a very big advantage if he is not winning. This is very important for today's chess. That uh, before, you know, like uh, I had the chance to play with people like, say, Geller, who would sit there, who would make very long plans. Uh, you know, during these plans, obviously he was also tactically alert. But when the theory went uh, so far, and uh, people somehow, in the last period, they gained the ability to play. Positions like in ping pong. Move comes to you, you make a little move, you don't lose something, uh, you bring the game on and on. But in, in this ping pong type of moments, you really have to be extremely tactical alert. If you are a, or you want, you want to be a good player, this catches the point. This really, really, really finishes uh, the game off in this level. And uh, very bad. Uh, turn of events for Petra Pop. She went to D1. Somehow it really looked like uh, Grandmaster Malamet was on automatic pilot. You know, so she could play also Queen D8. Uh, uh, one move before she knew the idea. It's called this finger failure. You know, the hand probably made. Uh, this uh, move, uh, you know, this uh, rook bishop c6, a move uh, too early, allowing this tactical shot. But after that, uh, you know, just uh, not only white uh, didn't accomplish this knight d5, but circled uh, with her knight to there. And now, also sort of blundered 
I mean, blunder is a big word. He sort of uh, ran into this trick, after which, and after every move, Black increased the lead. One upon, I don't know if it's still technically you know, winning, uh, maybe White could do something better. Get to upset with her position, went to h5. Protected against knight f6. So the game plays uh, in some way itself. You know, like now e4 is gone. Yeah. Bad, uh, bad turn of events. Possibly indicating that before all these things. Uh, I mean, these moves are all in some way formal. Black has a very big edge, uh, just protects uh, herself, and at the same time, with the last move, uh, really makes the threat. Obviously, rook takes h5 runs into rook takes f7. I mean, I didn't show much uh, interest for the rest of the game. I have to really apologize, but. Uh, if anybody asks why the knight is hanging that, that there is rook takes h5, and strong move rook takes f7, which even wins the game, it looks like. Dangerous, yeah. But uh, she shot that off, you know, and black restructured the forces, maybe they had some time trouble, gained some time, I don't know, too many repetitions that I may have a talk today about in these games. And eventually, Black brought uh, everything hit. And the final, I mean, this one is a real mistake. White didn't have a good day. It's obvious, I mean. It's very much obvious, and uh, it's very much obvious for anybody who, want to, who wants to improve in chess these days. Solve your combinations, know about this one or two movers, you know, like these simple tactics. I uh, used to know that uh, Ty, one of the most, uh, you know, accomplished tactical player of all times, he liked to watch children's chess programs. We also had it uh, in this country. Uh, Sanya Vuksanovic was for a children's program, not only for chess in general, if I'm not mistaken. Sometimes I, I was watching, uh, when I was visiting neighboring countries, uh, Bonio Ivanovic's program. I don't know if it is still on, so he was showing some uh, game. Time was patient to sitting and watching the simple, very simple you know, uh, games and tactical. Uh, Exercises. There are some different schools for that. Some people they prefer really very elaborated uh, tactical exercises to solve a couple of them during a limited amount of time. And some of them they really want to solve tons of them, uh, but uh, in a shorter time. I don't know which one is true. Uh, and I, I believe that there is no formula about it. So the second one, you know, like second game uh, I have chosen, should be also 